I'd like to ask Neil Armstrong when he began to think of what he would say when he put his foot down on the lunar surface. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Yes, I did uh, think about it. I decided what the words would be while we were on the lunar surface just prior to leaving planet. has always been a source of mystery, and it's no surprise it's become a breeding ground for some wild ideas. Conspiracy theories about the moon have been around for decades, from secret alien bases to hidden artifacts left behind by ancient civilizations. While these theories are fun to think about, it's important to remember scientists have thoroughly debunked them, and the vast majority of the evidence points towards a much less fantastical story for our lunar neighbor. But first, let's talk about some of the most interesting lunar NASA missions. Remember that night in 1969? I sure don't. It would be 30 more years before I'd remember anything, but at the time, the whole world was glued to their TVs, waiting with bated breath as three brave astronauts embarked on a historic journey. This wasn't just another space mission in a growing race, it was about landing the first humans on the moon. Apollo 11, the first mission to the moon, was the culmination of a decade-long effort, fueled by President John F. Kennedy's audacious challenge to land an American on the moon before the end of the 60s. It was a bold move driven by the space race against the Soviet Union. The crew chosen for this monumental task were the best of the best. Neil Armstrong, the commander, was known for his exceptional piloting skills and calmness under pressure. Joining him were Michael Collins, the command module pilot, and Edwin Buzz Aldrin, the lunar module pilot and former Air Force Sabre pilot. These men trained relentlessly, practicing lunar landings in special vehicles, studying the moon's surface, and preparing for every possible scenario they might encounter. Finally, on July 16, 1969, the massive Saturn V rocket, the most powerful ever built at the time, launched Apollo 11 from Kennedy Space Center. It blasted off with over 7.5 million pounds of thrust, propelling the spacecraft and its crew towards the moon. After reaching Earth orbit, they performed a maneuver called a translunar injection, essentially setting them on the right path towards a lunar orbit. Once there, the spacecraft separated into two parts, the command and service module nicknamed Columbia and the lunar module called Eagle. The real the nail-biting moment came when it was time for the lunar landing. As Eagle descended towards the moon's dusty plains, Armstrong noticed that their automated systems were leading them towards a dangerously rocky area. Taking matters into his own hands, he skillfully steered Eagle to a safer landing spot, using up precious fuel in the process. The iconic words, the Eagle has landed, crackled through the speakers, sending waves of relief and excitement around the world. Millions watched in awe as Armstrong and then Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the moon. Their time on the lunar surface was packed with activity. They carefully explored their surroundings in the low gravity, set up experiments, collected rocks, and captured countless photographs. Even President Nixon himself called them up to congratulate them on this incredible achievement. After a historic 2.5 hour moonwalk, it was time to head back. Armstrong and Aldrin blasted back off from the lunar surface in the Eagle, rendezvoused with Collins in Columbia, and began their journey back to Earth. Splashing down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24th, 1969, eight days after launch, they were greeted as heroes. Being the first on the moon, though, they had to be quarantined to ensure that no lunar bacteria had come back on them, though it would be later found unnecessary due to the moon being sterile. The Apollo missions weren't just about planting flags and taking giant leaps. They were about pushing the boundaries of human potential and answering our age-old questions about the moon and our place in the universe. Let's delve into some of these incredible missions and the fascinating stories behind them. Up first, Apollo 11. An estimated 650 million people around the world tuned in to watch grainy footage of Armstrong taking his first steps on the moon. It was a powerful reminder of our shared human experience and the unifying power of exploration. Armstrong would even carry a memento of the last great leap, a piece of the Wright brothers' flyer. However, the stakes were high and everyone involved knew the risks. President Nixon even had a backup speech prepared in case the mission went south. Stark reminder of 
the immense challenges and potential dangers the astronauts faced. After 21 hours and 36 minutes, the Great Leap would come to an end, and Aldrin and Armstrong would blast off the surface and reconnect with Columbia. Up next, Apollo 12 Beyond the Moonwalk. Apollo 12 wasn't just about replicating Apollo 11's success, it aimed for greater precision and exploration. Unfortunately, their color TV camera was accidentally pointed directly at the sun, frying the imaging tubes and leaving the world without live broadcasts. But the mission still had its share of surprises. Scientists were astonished to find bacteria thriving inside an uncrewed spacecraft that had been sitting on the moon for quite some time. The bacteria was of Earth origin, but this discovery raised questions about the resilience of life and the potential for contamination in space exploration. The astronauts also left behind some mementos on the moon, including a small statue honoring fallen astronauts and a plaque commemorating those who dedicated their lives to space exploration. These tokens would serve as a reminder of the human cost and sacrifices made in the pursuit of knowledge. Next was Apollo 13, Triumph from the Brink of Disaster. Apollo 13 was supposed to land on the moon, but fate would have other plans. A critical technical failure would cripple the spacecraft. At 55 hours and 55 minutes, an oxygen tank that had been causing problems and damage during repair on Earth detonated, causing the other oxygen tank to begin to fail, forcing the crew and mission control into a desperate fight for survival, lacking electrical, light, and water supply. Despite the near catastrophe, Apollo 13 is often referred to as a successful failure because the crew and ground team managed to bring everyone home safely. It was a testament to their incredible problem solving skills, ingenuity, and unwavering determination in the face of adversity. New systems and fixes had to be devised, tested, and relayed on the fly from the ground crew up to the astronauts, allowing them to fix the catastrophic damage with what they had on hand. Due to critically low power, they ended up using only 12 watts, the same as a weak light bulb, to make their re-entry. The Apollo missions weren't just about planting flags and taking moonwalks, they were about bringing back invaluable scientific knowledge. The hundreds of kilograms of lunar rocks provided scientists with a treasure trove of information, offering insights into the moon's formation, our solar system's history, and the processes shaping celestial bodies. Beyond these scientific gains, Apollo also spurred incredible technological advancements, from miniaturized electronics to cutting edge material science. The ripple effects of the program continue to shape numerous aspects of our life today. But the impact went far beyond technology. The Apollo missions captured the world's imagination, inspiring generations of scientists, artists, and dreamers. They showed us what's possible when we push our limits and strive for the seemingly impossible. Perhaps the most profound impact came from the awe-inspiring images of Earth captured by the Apollo astronauts. The now iconic Earthrise and blue marble photos instilled a sense of environmental awareness, reminding us of our fragile and precious planet suspended in the vastness of space. The far side of the moon has always held a special kind of allure. Hidden from our view for most of history, it's no surprise it's become the subject of fascination and, well, some pretty wild theories. One of the most enduring ideas is that the far side is a haven for aliens, complete with secret bases and UFO activity. So where does this theory come from? Well, it all boils down to a few things, mystery and misinterpretation. The far side's constant invisibility from Earth naturally fuels speculation. We only got our first glimpse in 1959 thanks to a Soviet spacecraft. And guess what? The landscape was quite different from the familiar man on the moon side that we usually see. More craters, a thicker crust, it definitely added to the air of mystery. But here's where things get interesting. Some folks have taken photos and videos from various lunar missions and claim to have spotted evidence of alien activity. We're talking towers, strange lights, and even straight lines that look unnatural. The truth? Most of these sightings are likely due to something called pareidolia. It's a fancy way of saying our brains are wired to see patterns in random things. So a cluster of rocks might look like a structure to some, but to science, it's just the moon being the moon. It's important to remember that many of these claims are based on blurry images, limited information, and a healthy dose of imagination. Scientists have debunked many of these theories with clearer, higher resolution photos that show these anomalies are simply natural features. Now here's the interesting part. Even though there's no real evidence to support 
support the alien base theory, it has had somewhat of a positive impact. It sparked public interest in space exploration and the moon, encouraged us to look closer, ask questions, and dream big about what might be out there. But, and this is a big but, it also is a reminder to approach information with a critical eye. Not everything we see online or hear from someone is true. It's important to base our beliefs on evidence and scientific understanding, not just because something seems mysterious or exciting. So the next time you hear about alien bases on the moon, remember it's probably just a case of our brains playing tricks on us. But hey, that doesn't mean there isn't something truly fascinating about the far side waiting to be explored. Looking ahead, the moon is poised to become a key player in our spacefaring future. Plans are underway for the construction of a lunar space station, the Lunar Gateway, which will serve as a crucial hub for future missions to the moon and potentially even beyond to Mars. Additionally, there are ongoing discussions and concepts for establishing a permanent human presence on the moon, utilizing lunar resources like water, ice, and regolith for survival and construction. As we continue to unravel the moon's mysteries and unlock its secrets, who knows what other surprises it might hold. Maybe some of the more fantastical theories hold a sliver of truth waiting to be discovered. But one thing is for sure, the moon's allure is certain to captivate us for generations to come, fueling our scientific curiosity and inspiring us to reach for the stars. So why aren't we returning to the moon anytime soon? Some say NASA knows more than they say and there's something dangerous on the moon or that we never even made it there. The truth though is, as always, a little less exciting. The original space race, along with being a crowning achievement of human success, was also a vital aspect of the Cold War, improving targeting systems, rockets and missiles, putting spy satellites in orbit, and showcasing the economic and industrial might of each nation. The main thing holding us back now? Money and risk. Without a big bad to race against, there hasn't been much of a reason to return to the moon. Too many things are taking up money, resources, and attention here on Earth to just remake the Apollo missions. The entire venture is also wickedly dangerous. Even in missions where systems were checked and checked over and over again, failures still happen happened and fatalities continued to occur. Future lunar missions will be much more advanced in scope and currently we haven't reached the technology and integration required to make a new lunar mission meaningful enough to take the risk.